Plenty of us love a nice cold glass of beer or some chilled champagne, but if you're putting them or any of the other following alcohols in the freezer, then you need to seriously reevaluate everything. Even if you haven't thought about basic science since high school, you're probably aware that water expands when it's frozen, so it's not incredibly difficult to figure out why you shouldn't put beer in the freezer, as it may actually freeze. The liquid inside will swell, which can lead to the can or bottle bursting. The internal pressure of frozen beer sealed inside aluminum or glass is often too great to sustain over time, eventually resulting in an exploding can or bottle. Even if you aren't forced to clean slushy bits of beer from every corner of your freezer, a frozen brewski may still break its seal. That'll leave you with a flat drink devoid of carbonation upon defrosting. Since we love an ice-cold beer as much as anyone, we can understand the impulse to store it in the freezer, but it's just not worth the risk. So just play it safe and stick with the refrigerator. Beer's all that matters to me. A higher-proof liquor such as whiskey might appear ideally suited for freezer storage, since it won't freeze entirely or spoil in any capacity. But if you believe that whiskey's complexity should be celebrated and embraced, you should keep it far, far away from your freezer. Just consider the amount of time and effort involved in the production of a truly spectacular whiskey, such as Johnny Walker Black Label. The numerous intricate flavor notes found in each bottle of this immensely popular blended variety take years to develop, and that's true of most top-notch whiskeys. Putting it in the freezer will completely deaden those subtleties, thereby defeating the entire purpose of buying a quality bottle of whiskey. If you're not really a fan of whiskey and are just trying to get drunk, then storing it in the freezer will indeed do the trick. But if that's the case, why not opt for a less intense, more freezer-friendly alcohol instead? There's a grain of truth in the old adage that we eat with our eyes, but perhaps we should also say that we eat and drink with our noses. After all, an astounding 80% of our sense of taste is derived from the olfactory system. And fortunately, those scents may disappear with freezer-stored alcohol, which is precisely why you should never put tequila in the freezer. It's not just a matter of diminished nasal recognition that makes tequila a poor choice for the freezer. After all, the subtle flavors are just as paramount to enjoying a quality tequila, and those nuances that are lost when it's ice cold. Simply put, there's just no good reason to put tequila in the freezer. This may not matter too much to someone who only enjoys this liquor between a salt lick and lime wedge, but if you want to actually consume as it was intended, then keep it at room temperature. If you purchase a bottle of sake, which is Japanese fermented rice alcohol, then you should follow Japan's lead. You're certainly well within your rights to put it in the freezer, but it's best stored between 40 and 60 degrees Fahrenheit, which is of course well above a freezer's typical temperature. Sake's alcohol content is closer to wine than it is to hard liquor, or consistently below 40 proof. Thus, there's a chance that it could, in fact, become frozen in the freezer. Considering that it's often sold in glass bottles, it's clearly a bad match for extreme cold, unless you want a freezer full of sake frosted glass bits. Since sake's delicate nature is also unlikely to withstand a freezer's temperature without a noticeable drop in quality, it's simply not worth storing there. So the next time someone asks you to sake it to me, make sure you don't have to reach into the freezer. The excessively boozy, neon green spirit known as absinthe is certainly one of a kind. Since it's generally bottled at 100 proof or higher, it may seem like a perfect fit for the freezer. But if you want to maximize its properties, then you should absolutely keep it out of the freezer or even the fridge. Most absinthe drinkers would probably prefer to preserve its trademark anise flavor. But those crucial compounds begin to break down in cooler temperatures. In other words, if it's kept in the freezer, the very flavor notes that absinthe fans relish will almost certainly be diminished, if not completely destroyed. Frankly, if you're looking to extend this spirit shelf life by putting it in the freezer, its high alcohol content makes that consideration moot. In fact, since a just below room temperature environment is ideal, you can rest assured that absinthe will be just fine outside the freezer, with its finer details remaining intact. Even if the world manages to avoid a potential champagne shortage in 2023, we'd imagine most folks will save their fizzy bottles for a special occasion. With that in mind, you should ensure that your champagne remains at its peak whenever you're ready to enjoy it. One way to do this is by keeping it out of the freezer, which helps it retain its quality while also avoiding a shattered mess of broken glass. As we've already mentioned, the nature of frozen water means that a lower-proof alcohol such as champagne isn't just at risk of actually freezing in a freezer, 
it could cause its container to rupture as well. While that straightforward concern is both reasonable and understandable, it isn't the only reason to keep champagne out of the freezer. Another vital reason is the risk of prematurely popping the bottle's cork, thereby reducing the carbonation so crucial to enjoying champagne. After all, who wants to celebrate life's precious moments with a sad, non-bubbly glass of champagne? Champagne? Who knew? In some cases, there isn't a universal consensus for or against storing certain alcohols in the freezer. Case in point, Aquavit, the famous Scandinavian liquor that some actually believe should be served from the freezer. But whenever there's doubt, we try to defer to the experts. And according to Fridtoff Nikolaisen, vice president of the Norwegian beverage company Arcus, a freezer is actually the last place you should ever put Aquavit. As he told the Washington Post in 2010, Good God, that's a sacrilege for those of us who make it. Now, if you're doing precisely what a leading Aquavit producer from Norway recommends not to do, we can't exactly reach out and stop you. But why bother purchasing an imported bottle of foreign liquor only to thumb your nose at their preferred method for drinking it? Perhaps you've yet to ever had the pleasure of sipping this legendary Scandinavian alcohol yourself. But once you do finally get your hands on a bottle, we feel confident in saying that it should go anywhere but the freezer. When high society types enjoy a nice after-dinner cigar and drink, they usually enjoy their snifters of brandy neat or without ice. And this isn't by accident, since brandy is generally consumed at room temperature, meaning there's no legitimately conceivable reason to keep it in the freezer. Brandy isn't consumed exclusively without ice, of course, and there are a number of brandy-based cocktails that utilize ice during the mixing process. But considering that the general rule of thumb for this classic alcohol is to sip it straight at or near room temperature, you won't exactly be on the path to becoming a brandy connoisseur if you store it in the freezer. If, however, you don't care about your standing in the brandy community, you can feel free to store any and all bottles in your freezer. But if you're hoping to enjoy every nook and cranny of flavor in a glass of brandy, then keep it in your pantry. Have a little more of this uh, rather disappointing brandy. Have you ever finished a bottle of tequila and then polished it off with the elusive worm that's rumored to be found at the bottom of certain batches? We'd bet not, mainly because it's actually mezcal, not tequila, that sometimes contains this worm-like creature, which is actually a moth larva, not a worm. In fact, while mezcal and tequila may be mistakenly discussed as one and the same, there are a number of important differences between the two, although neither of them should ever be stored in the freezer. Since a preferred method for mezcal consumption involves drinking it at room temperature, it's unclear why anyone would ever consider putting it in the freezer. You'd need to wait an exorbitant amount of time before a freezer-kept bottle is ready to sip. And who wants to wait even just one second when they're ready to break out the booze? Clearly, we believe it's worth honoring the preparation and heritage of certain alcohols. A mezcal is no exception. So do what's best for the mezcal and what's best for your taste buds and never put it in the freezer. We imagine that some people put alcohol in the freezer in the hopes that it will act as an instant cooler for any warm beverages. But that impulse to try to circumvent the laws of physics won't actually result in the pleasant experience you might envision, and hard seltzer is no exception to this rule. So for reasons similar to beer and champagne, keep those white claws and trulies out of the freezer. We've already established what's likely to happen when a carbonated drink is frozen, it'll eventually erupt. So the general risk associated with putting a lower-proof alcohol like hard seltzer in the freezer is already clear enough. But since hard seltzer isn't exactly considered a sophisticated beverage, the only real concern here is a potential frozen mess, rather than a drop in quality. So while a previously frozen bottle or can may taste just fine, it's just as unlikely to survive the freezer in one piece. So just play it safe and keep it in the fridge. I also got the summer variety pack. Oh, nice, this is so awesome. That's for everybody. Certain foods and drinks seem destined for cold storage, particularly the ones likely to spoil when kept above 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's perfectly plausible to believe that an Irish cream liqueur requires a spot in the fridge or even the freezer to maintain freshness. But the alcohol in this drink allows it to remain safe and palatable for up to two years at room temperature, rendering refrigeration wholly unnecessary. The strong likelihood that this beverage will separate well in the freezer means that the overall taste and feel could be altered for the worse once it's removed. Additionally, considering that Irish cream liqueur is often added to warm beverages, we're hard-pressed to name any genuine reason why anyone would want to put it in the freezer. If the thought of keeping a cream-based item in your pantry makes you squeamish, feel free to store it in your fridge. 
But since we guessed that you're keen to drink Irish cream liqueur the same way you purchased it, do yourself a favor and keep it out of there. If there's one single alcohol we can recommend for freezer storage, it would be cheap, lowbrow vodka. Naturally enough, though, the inverse of storing a low-cost and terrible-tasting version in the freezer is keeping the highest quality brands out of there. As with so many other top-shelf liquors, you'll only reduce the very flavors you spent so much money on if you do so. When we say that you should never store vodka in the freezer, we really do just mean the expensive, high-quality stuff like Grey Goose or Belvedere. If, however, we're talking about a bottle of something like Popov, we'd actually implore you to store that barely drinkable slosh in the freezer, as it'll help ease the inevitable burn. So what's the point of draining your bank account to obtain a fancy bottle of vodka, only to turn around and deliberately dull its delicateness by putting it in the freezer? So if you want to get your money's worth when it comes to premium vodka, steer clear of freezer storage.